We live in a world where everything you know is wrong. The Muslims of the 21st century, they have taken people like Tupac, people like Biggie, people like Dr. Dre, people like Snoop Dogg, people like 50 Cent, people like Buster Rhymes, as role models. When you have the best role model that ever walked on the face of this earth, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. My brothers from the Battle of Badr, the Muslims are 313, the Kufar are a thousand. The battle takes place and the Kufar are crushed. From the Battle of Uhud, the Muslims are 700, the Kufar are 3000. Yet again, the commander is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The battle takes place and the Kufar are crushed. From the Battle of Ahzab, the Muslims are 2,000. The Kufar are 24,000. Yet again, the commander is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The battle takes place and the Kufar are crushed. From the Battle of Tabuk, the Muslims are 30,000. The Kufar are several hundred thousand. Yet again, the commander is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When the Kufar see Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his army coming, they disperse and they make a U-turn and they run away. ruled with wisdom and strength. This is the role model that the whole world should be following. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah. الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الحبيب المرسلين محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Dear respected brothers, sisters Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. After praising Allah the Almighty and sending salutations on Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I begin by thanking Al Qadr for giving me this opportunity to convey the message of Allah and His Messenger Rasulullah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam As I pray to the Almighty Allah that Allah accepts my efforts in delivering this message As I pray to the Almighty Allah that Allah accepts your lot's efforts in listening to this message My brothers and my sisters if you remember there was a generation who was around 1400 years ago a generation that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave him a mention the hadith recorded by Imam al-Bukhari in his Sahih the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the best of generations is my generation then the generation who follows them and the generation who follows them who were they the companions of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the likes of abu bakr the likes of umar the likes of uthman the likes of ali the likes of hassan the likes of hussein the likes of abdullah ibn abbas the likes of anas ibn malik just to mention a few when they came across verses of the quran when allah said that if your forefathers your fathers 
your brothers, your sisters, your family, your children, your merchandises, your businesses, your houses, your dwellings. If anything becomes more beloved to you than Allah and His Messenger, then wait for the punishment of Allah to descend. When they came across verses of the Quran, when Allah said, O oh people, if you love Allah, then follow the Messenger of Allah and Allah will love you and He will forgive your sins. When they came across verses of the Quran, when Allah said, O oh you who believe, follow Allah, follow His Messenger and those who have been given authority over you. They understood that there was one role model to follow and that was the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In spite of the fact that they were persecuted, they were killed, they were tortured, they were taken from their lands, they were boycotted, their mothers were killed in front of them, their children were killed in front of them. In spite of this, they understood that there was only one way to Jannah and that was to follow the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because they understood that they were the best of nations who had been taken out from mankind to enjoin what is good and forbid what is evil. They understood that if, if their forefathers, their fathers, their brothers, their sisters, their children, their houses, their dwellings, their merchandises, their businesses, they understood that if them things had become more beloved to them than Allah and His Messenger, then they would have tasted the punishment of Allah. They had one example to follow, one man to follow, one role model to follow, and that was the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But today, we have the opposite. Many Muslims of the 21st century, they have taken people like Tupac, people like Biggie, people like Jay-Z, people like 50 Cent, people like Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, people like Beyonce, JLO, Lady Gaga as a role model and others have taken drug dealers as role models. Drug dealers as role models. Why? Because they think that this guy is a gangster. He's driving a Q7 or a R8 or a BMW or a Bentley or a Ferrari. Because of this they think that this drug dealer is a gangster. But what do these people know about gangsterness? There were gangsters before us and Allah the Almighty, He gripped them and Allah the Almighty destroyed them. The likes of Karun, this guy was a gangster and Allah the Almighty gripped him. Allah the Almighty gripped him. The earth opens and takes him in. This is what happens to a gangster. The likes of Fir'aun. This guy was another gangster. Yet again, Allah the Almighty disliked him. Allah the Almighty hated him so much that Allah gripped him. The oceans open and they crush him. And he's in Turkey Museum today. So mankind will reflect. Why? Because Allah says, that we will leave his body right till the day of judgment so mankind will reflect. The likes of the people of Ard, yet again, these guys were proper gangsters and Allah the Almighty disliked these people and Allah the Almighty gripped them. The tornadoes came and destroyed them. Now this guy Nimrud, 
This guy was a proper gangster. I'm not talking about them wannabe gangsters from Alam Rock or from Small Heath or from Spark Hill or from Hansworth or Low South or from Aston or Smithwick. This guy, Nimrud, this guy was a gangster and Allah the Almighty hated his gangsterness. The Allah the Almighty, he sends a mosquito to go through his ear to land on his brain and eat off his brain until this guy drops to his knees. A death of a dog. You want to live by the gun? Then indeed you're going to die by the gun. You want to know about real men? Then look at mans like Harun Rashid and Mu'attasim. Harun Rashid, the Amir al Mu'mineen of his time. A kafir, leader of Rome, he writes a letter and says to Harun Rashid that I will not pay jizya. Harun Rashid, he replies to his letter and says, In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate, from Amir al Mu'mineen. Harun Rashid to the dog of Rome. I have received your letter, you son of a kafirah. Remember one thing. You will not hear my reply. You will see my reply. The army is dispatched and this kafir is bought to the feet of Harun Rashid. This is why he called real men. The likes of Mu'attasim, a Muslim woman is captured, she's in prison and a kafir slaps her and then she shouts out and she says, Oh Mu'attasim, where are you? Oh Mu'attasim, where are you? When she says this, this kafir laughs at her and says, yes, indeed. Your man Mu'attasim is coming. He's coming on a black and white horse to save you. The news reaches Mu'attasim. Mu'attasim purchases 17,000 black and white horses. 17,000. The commander is Mu'attasim. The army is dispatched. They go towards this land. The Kufar's army is defeated and is crushed. Mu'attasim is there. This Kafir is born to Mu'attasim. This Muslim woman is born to Mu'attasim. And Mu'attasim says to this woman that tell this Kafir the Mu'addasim has come on a black and white horse to save you. This is why you call real men. And the day someone could reach their level, then you could talk. Otherwise, you might as well do what you do best. Put some bangles on and go back home and eat and sleep. And the Muslims have taken Drug dealers as role models. These are the drug dealers. They are putting people's mothers, people's sisters, people's brothers, pre people's nieces onto crack, onto smack. These are the people who are destroying hundreds of lives. And Allah the Almighty will take revenge. Allah the Almighty indeed, He will take revenge. And the reality of these drug dealers is when they live a dog's life, supplying people's mothers, people's sisters, people's brothers, people's daughters, people's sons, Allah the Almighty indeed He will take revenge. And remember one thing, when you wake up 
This drug dealer, when they wake up and they come downstairs and they find out that their mother or their sister or their brother or their niece have, have become a crackhead or a smackhead or a cokehead, at that time they will realize the reality of what they were doing. And bear this in mind. If the outcome of a crackhead, of a smackhead, of a cokehead on the plane of resurrection, when the crack, smack, weed, opium, you name it, will be wrapped around his neck, his tongue will come down towards his waist, between his skin and his flesh, there'll be snakes and scorpions biting him. He will be made to wear the slippers of hell that'll make his brain bubble like a boiling water in a kettle. If this is the outcome of that crackhead, of that junkie, what do you think is the outcome of that person who supplies these people? Only Allah knows what He has in store for these people. And what else do we find? The fitna of the 21st century. Muslims have taken this guy as a role model. And many Muslims, many Muslims have taken this guy as a role model. Muslim men and women, they sit at home watching his videos on YouTube and Facebook and following him on Twitter. This guy, all Muslims, I ask you, I ask you all Muslims, do you watch his videos on YouTube and Facebook and you follow, it, follow him on Twitter? Is it because he makes a mockery out of Allah's religion? Is it because he makes a mockery out of the Sunnah? Is it because he makes a mockery out of the companion of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Is it because of this? The Muslims of the 21st century are following him on Twitter and watching his videos on YouTube and Facebook? Is it because he listens to the devil's music? Is it because he makes a mockery out of the woman with the niqab on, with the hijab on? Is it because he makes a mockery out of the food that Allah provides for him? Is it because of this, all Muslims of the 21st century? You watch his videos on YouTube and Facebook and you follow him on Twitter. And who is this person? Diary of a bad man. This is the guy who makes a mockery out of Allah's religion. And many people you meet, they say that he's following Quran and Sunnah. He's following Quran and Sunnah. My brothers, I ask, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can sit around with women? Tell me, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can go around and listen to the devil's music? Tell me, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can call an Islamic event a homosexual event. Tell me, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can make a mockery out of the words of Allah? Tell me, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can make a mockery out of the beard? Tell me, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can make a mockery out of the food that Allah provides for you? Fear Allah, fear Allah, fear Allah. Because it could be possible, and it is possible, that He has said a word that Allah dislikes so much that on the day of judgment, Allah the Almighty, He will overlook His deeds and He will throw Him in the fire of hell. And what else do we find? A Muslim woman who wears the hijab, the niqab, who makes a mockery 
out of the sunnah of the wives of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the niqab. And what is she doing? In a club with about 20 men around her, dancing around her. She's rapping around, sitting in a Range Rover, listen to the, listening to the devil's music. And then she's giving the woman with the niqab on a bad name by running around the house with a knife. Is this the sunnah? Is this the religion of Allah? Is it? This is not the religion of Allah. And many Muslims say that he's upon the Quran and the Sunnah. And I'll say one thing. The few haven't got nothing good to say. Then remain silent and shut your mouth. Because this is why exactly the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that if you haven't got nothing good to say, then remain silent and keep that mouth shut. And if you've got no shame, I will say exactly what the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. That if you've got no shame, then do what you want. But remember your return is to the Almighty Allah and Allah the Almighty on the day of judgment, He will grip you. And what else do we find in the 21st century? The Muslims who are supposed to follow the Sunnah of Muhammad, who are supposed to be the role models of Islam, where do we find them? In pubs and in clubs. Never mind places like Gay Crusher, Sport Cat, Barisa, Chai Bar. We're talking about, may Allah destroy these places. I'm talking about the Muslim clubs and that is the Shisha lounges. The Shisha lounges. Many Muslims, many Muslims go to these places and they think it's permissible. Places like Moon Lounge, Red Sea Lounge, Exhale, Hukas, Marhaba, Casablanca. Many Muslims go to these places. Muslim men with beards. Muslim men without beards. Muslim women with hijabs. Muslim women without hijabs. Pakistanis, Arabs, non-Arabs, Bengalis, Patans, churches are all in these places on some pipe dancing, listening to the devil's music. And other places around Birmingham, you have people's mothers who are in these places. And they are on some pipe. Why are they will watch their own daughters rip the dance floor with some other guy? And there was a club, Shisha Lounge, Casablanca, back up Manchester side. And there was this woman, a birthday girl, 17 years old. Or 16 years old. The guy who was present, he said that this girl walks in wearing a see through top on and she walks the walk and she wanted attention. Why? Because she understood that she was so ugly that if she was to look in the mirror, her reflection will duck. She understood that she was so ugly that if she was to enter the ugly competitions, they would say to her, no professionals. <laughs> so what does this evil woman do? What does this evil woman do? She walks the walk. 
she gets drunk out of her head. And then she takes her bottoms off. She comes out with the underwear on, with a see-through top on. Where? In the shisha lounges. And then she walks the walk. And when she's told, what would your mother think? What would your father think? If they seen you in this state, you know what this evil woman says? The F my mother and F my father. This is the state of many Muslims around the UK and around the world. But bear in mind, the next time you want some pipe, or you cruising around with your girlfriend or your boyfriend, or you in some club ripping the dance floor, or you in some shisha lounge blasting music, or you in some hotel doing your business, or you in some pub taking a vodka down. It could be possible that Allah the Almighty will say to the angel of death, bring my enemy to me. And the angel will descend with 12 eyes, black of face, fire leaping out from his mouth, coming out from his nose with a forked iron rod with embers. Angels behind him with embers and whips made out of fire. And they'll come to this person and they'll rip his soul out and they will present it to Allah. But that time, remember, there is no repentance. There is no repentance. Many Muslims have wrote to us and they say, the why do you get so emotional for? Why do I get so emotional for? What do you want me to do? Sing you twinkle twinkle little star? When I know, come the day of Eid, come the day of Eid, hundred of Muslim men, hundred of Muslim women, then some hotel coming zina, why shouldn't I get angry? When I know the name of Muhammad is ripped off the wall and thrown in some bins. Why shouldn't I get angry? When I know come the day of Eid and back of Manchester, a guy will stand on top of his car and spill all vodka all over him and he will say Allahu Akbar. Why shouldn't I get angry? When I know a Muslima has become a Murtada and she takes her two daughters to the church and baptizes them. Why shouldn't I get angry? When I know the man of 37 or 40 will rape a one month old baby. Why shouldn't I get angry? Why shouldn't I get angry? When I know this is happening, why shouldn't I get angry when I know the Muslims have taken others as role models than the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are following the Sunnah of Tupac and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are following the Sunnah of Jay Z and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are following the Sunnah of Buster Rhymes and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are following the Sunnah of 50 Cent and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are following the Sunnah of Rivaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are following the Sunnah of some UFC fighter or some boxer and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are following the Sunnah of the women like Lady Gaga and Beyonce and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? This is the best of example that ever walked on the face of this earth. Why? Because he's the blessed one. He's a mercy for the world. He's a station of praise 
Allah the Almighty praises him. He's a special favor of Allah. He's a possessor of Allah's grace. He's the teacher of the Quran. Allegiance to him is allegiance to Allah. He's the teacher of the Quran. He's the final prophet. He's a prophet that's mentioned first from amongst the prophets. He's a prophet with proven prophecies. He's a prophet that Ibrahim prayed for his coming. He's a prophet that Isa mentioned his coming. He's a prophet that puts total trust in Allah. He's the Sadiq. He's the Amin. He's the noble one. He's the forgiving one. He's the brave one. He sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the brave one. He sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the teacher of the Quran. My brothers, he doesn't stop there. Why? Because the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam is a bearer of glad tidings and a warner. He sallallahu alayhi wasallam is an inviter to Islam. He's a prophet. Such a prophet that he takes people from darkness to light. He's the prophet that his household is purified by Allah. He's the prophet that his companions are praised by Allah. He's the prophet that his companions are the Muhajireen and the Ansar. He's the prophet that you should follow him. He's the prophet that you should obey him. He's the prophet that you should take as a role model. Why? Because he's the living miracle. He's a human miracle. He's a historic miracle. His name is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. My brothers, this is the role model that the whole world should be following. This is the role model that the Muslims of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Because the narration is in Khasais al Qubra. The narration states when the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born, a voice was heard from the unseen saying, "Take this child to the east." Take this child to the West and let the whole world come to know the qualities of this Prophet. Let the whole world come to know the name of my beloved. And give him the character of Adam and Islam, the recognition of Shish al Islam, the bravery of Nuh al Islam, the friendship of Ibrahim al Islam, the sacrifice of Ismail al Islam, the inokanness of Saleh al Islam, the contentment of Ishaq al Islam, the glad tidings of Yaqub al Islam. The strength of Musa al Islam, the jihad of Yusha al Islam, the love of Daniel al Islam, the reverence of Elias al Islam, the obedience of Yunus al Islam, the patience of Ayub al Islam, the voice of Dawood al Islam, the abstinence of Yahya al Islam, and the piety of Isa al Islam, and anoint this prophet with the characteristics of 124,000 prophets. This is the messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that the whole world should be following. This is the messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that the Muslim of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Because the messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he's a commander in the battle of Badr. He, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is a commander in the battle of Ohud. He, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is a commander in the battle of Ahzab. He, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is a commander in the battle of Muta. He, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is a commander in the battle of Tabuk. My brothers, come the battle of Badr, and the Muslims are three hundred thirteen. The Kufar are a thousand. Yet again, the commander is Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The battle takes place, and the Kufar are crushed. Come the battle of Ohud, the Muslims are 700, the Kufar are 3,000. Yet again, the commander is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The battle takes place and the Kufar are crushed. Come the battle of Ahzab, the Muslims are 2,000, the Kufar are 24,000. Yet again, the commander is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The battle takes place and the Kufar are crushed. Come the battle of Muta, the Muslims are 30,000, the Kufar. A hundred thousand. Yet again, the commander is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The battle takes place and the kuffar are crushed. Come the battle of Tabuk. The Muslims are thirty thousand. The kuffar are several hundred thousand. Yet again, the commander is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Before the battle even takes place, the kuffar they disperse and they run. This is the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the whole world should be following. This is the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the Muslims of the twenty-first century should be taking as a role model. Why? Because the hadith is in Asai. The narration states the Adam al Islam is present, Shish al Islam is present, Nuh al Islam is present, Ibrahim al Islam is present, Ismail al Islam is present, Ishaq al Islam is present. 
Yaqub alayhi islam is present. Musa alayhi islam is present. Yusha alayhi islam is present. Ilyas alayhi islam is present. Yunus alayhi islam is present. Ayyub alayhi islam is present. Daniel alayhi islam is present. Yahya alayhi islam is present. Isa alayhi islam is present. The Mu'addin gives Adhan. Who is to be made the Imam? The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam received this honor and is made the Imam of all the Prophets. He's the Imam of all the Prophets. This is the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam that the whole world should be following. This is the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam that the Muslim of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Because the narration is in Bukhari. The narration states, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam is present and the Kuffar of Mecca, the Mushrikeen of Mecca, they want to see a miracle, they want to witness a miracle. So they gather together and they stop at a place waiting for the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam to do a miracle. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam points towards the moon, indicating with his finger, he makes the moon into dua. He takes one side of the moon and one side of the mountain, the other side of the moon, on the other side of the mountain. My brothers, this is the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam that the whole world should be following. This is the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Muslim of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Yet again, the hadith is in Bukhari. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam stops at a place and the companion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam comes to him and says to him that we have no water. It's time for salah. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam says, present me with a bowl. A bowl is presented to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he places his hands in the bowl and water begins to flow from his fingers and 300 companions 300 companions, 300 companions do wudu with that water. Allahu Akbar, this is the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa that the whole world should be following. This is the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa that the Muslims of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Because come the plane of resurrection. When some people will be drowning up to the ankles, some will be drowning up to the knees, some will be drowning up to the waist, some will be drowning up to their collarbone, some will be drowned in their own sweat. No hope, no nothing. The sun will be above their head. They'll be screaming, they'll be shouting, their tears will run out and blood will be flowing through their eyes. Allahu Akbar, they will go to Adam and Islam and they'll say to Adam and Islam, intercede for us, intercede for us, intercede for us. And Adam and Islam will say, Allah the Almighty is angry like never before. I do not know what will happen to me. Go towards Nuh al Islam. They will go towards Nuh al Islam and they will say to Nuh al Islam, intercede for us, intercede for us, intercede for us. Yet again, Nuh and Islam would say, Allah the Almighty is angry like never before. I do not know what will happen to me. Go towards Ibrahim al Islam. And they will turn the whole of plane of resurrection and they will go to Ibrahim al Islam and they will say to Ibrahim al Islam, intercede for us, intercede for us, intercede for us. And Ibrahim al Islam would say, Allah the Almighty is angry like never before. I do not know what will happen to me. Go towards Musa al Islam. Then the whole of plane of resurrection, they will turn and they will go to Musa al Islam and they'll say to Musa al Islam, intercede for us, intercede for us, intercede for us. And Musa al Islam would say, the Allah the Almighty is angry like never before. I do not know what will happen to me. Go towards Isa al Islam. Then the whole of plane of resurrection. They will turn and they will go to Isa al Islam and they will say to Isa al Islam, intercede for us, intercede for us, intercede for us, intercede for us. And the Isa al Islam would say, Allah the Almighty is angry like never before. I do not know what will happen to me. Go towards Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. They will turn and they will go towards Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and they will say to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, intercede for us, intercede for us, intercede for us. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa will intercede and his intercession will be accepted and Allah the Almighty will descend. This is the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa that the whole world should be falling. This is the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa that the Muslims of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Because he doesn't stop there. The narration said that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he stops at a place and he begins to recite the Quran. His elegant style of recitation that even the jinn say, verily we have heard an amazing recitation that has forced us to say La ilaha illallah. This is the Messenger وسلم, that the whole world should be following. This is the Messenger وسلم, that the Muslims of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Then why is it that people are following the Sunnah of Tupac and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are following the Sunnah of Jay-Z and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are following the Sunnah of Buster Rhymes and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam? Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are following the Sunnah of Diary of a Bad Man and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam? 
Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century, they are following the Sunnah of Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho, and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are following the Sunnah of Lady Gaga, of Beyonce, of JLO, of Pretty Zinta, and not the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? The best example that ever stepped on the face of this earth was none other than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The hadith is in Bayhaqi. The narrator Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anhu. He says that Bedouin from Bani Sulaim, he was walking and he has a lizard with him. And he says to the companion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says to the companion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that who is that man that is surrounded by men? And the companion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, that is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Bedouin pushes his way through and goes towards Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he, when he sees Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, that I swear by Allah and Uzza, a mother has not given birth to a child that I hate more than you. And if my people didn't think I was hasty, then indeed I would have severed your head from your body. Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anhu is present, a man of actions and a man of words. He says, O oh, Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, give me permission and I will strike this kafir's head off. Permission is not granted. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that, tell me why did you insult me? Why did you dishonor me? And the Bedouin replies by saying, I swear by Lat and Uzza, I would not believe in you, nor would I testify in you until my lizard testifies in you. The narration states, the Messenger وسلم, says to the lizard, that tell me who am I? And the lizard replies by saying, I worship he whose throne is in the heaven, whose rule is on the world whose mercy is in paradise and his punishment is in hell. Yet again the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, tell me who am I? Tell me who am I? And the lizard replies by saying that you are the Messenger of Allah. Successful is the one who believes in you and unsuccessful is the one who disbelieves in you. Flowing on the lips of this Bedouin is, I testify, there's no God worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of it. Yet again the hadith is in Bukhari. The narration states that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he's on the minbar, he's giving a sermon, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. When he's giving a sermon, a Bedouin walks in and says, O oh Messenger of Allah, ask Allah to make it rain. Ask Allah to make it rain. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa raises his hands towards the heavens and says, O oh Allah, make it rain and it rains. And it rains so much that continuously for seven days it rains. Till the following Jum'ah. Come the following Jum'ah. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa is standing on a member. And he's giving a sermon. Yet again the same Bedouin walks in and says, O oh Messenger of Allah, ask Allah to seize the rain. Our properties are getting destroyed. Our crops are getting destroyed. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam raises his hands towards heaven and the rain stops. This is the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the whole world should be following. This is the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the Muslims of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Because the hadith could be found in Bayhaqi. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is traveling and he sees a Bedouin and he says to the Bedouin that testify there's no God worthy of worship except Allah and I am the Messenger of Allah. The Bedouin replies by saying that tell me who is here to testify in you? 
Who is here to testify in you? The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa he points toward the tree and he calls the tree and the tree comes tearing the ground and he stops in front of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa and he says three times, I testify, there's no God worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah. I testify, there's no God worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the Messenger. I testify, there's no God worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the Messenger of Allah. This is the Messenger وسلم, that the whole world should be following. This is the Messenger وسلم, that the Muslim that the 21st century should be taking as a role model. And it doesn't stop there. Why? The hadith is in Bayhaqi. A Jewish woman, she plots and plans to kill the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and she poisons the meat. And the meat is presented to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and the meat speaks and says, Oh Muhammad, do not eat me, there's poison inside me. My brothers, this is the Messenger وسلم, that the Muslims of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Because the hadith is a Musnad of Imam Ahmad. The Messenger وسلم, climbs Mount Uhud. And Mount Uhud begins to shake out of excitement. Why? Because of the presence of Rasulullah. Yet again, the hadith is a Musnad of Imam Ahmad. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa climbs Mount Bashir and Mount Bashir begins to shake out of excitement. Why? Because of the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Yet again, the hadith is a musnad of Imam Ahmad. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa climbs Mount Hira and Mount Hira begins to shake out of excitement. Why? Because of the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa this is the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the whole world should be following. This is the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the Muslims of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Because the hadith is in Bukhari. The messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to stand by a tree and used to give a sermon. A member is made for the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam stands on his new member. And the tree where he used to stand by begins to cry. The hadith of Bukhari state, it cries so much until Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa descends from his member and goes towards the tree and quietens the tree down. This is the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa that the whole world should be following. This is the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa that the Muslims of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Yet again, the hadith, my brothers, are numerous. And it will carry on and carry on and carry on. Why? Because the blessing that Allah sent to this world was none other than the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa The blessing Allah sent to this world was the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa The hadith is in Bayhaqi. Utba the dog, he insults the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa raises his hands towards the heaven. And says, Oh Allah, send a dog up from your dogs upon him. Night falls. Utba and his boys are hiding in a cave. They all fall asleep. The Messenger وسلم, said, Oh Allah, send a dog from your dogs upon him. A lion walks in, sniffing his way through. And when he reaches Utba, he takes the head of Utba off. This is the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the Muslims of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Because the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's beauty and his actions had reached the peak of excellence in every aspect. This is why the poet will say that Jibreel says, I've been to the east, I've been to the west, I've been all around the world. I've seen people who have been worshipped like idols. But when I've seen your face, O oh Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you were on the next level. Yet again, the hadith is in Tirmizi. The companion of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is sitting down. And he says that I've seen Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the masjid. He says, I was looking at the face of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then I was looking at the moon. Then I was looking at the face of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Then I was looking at the moon. Every time I was looking at the moon, my eyes were fixed on the face of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Why? Because his face was more beautiful than the moon. This is the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the whole world should be following. This is the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the Muslim of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? 
Because Adam alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Shish alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Nuh alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Ibrahim alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Ismail alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Ishaq alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Yaqub alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Musa alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Yusha alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Daniel alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Yunus alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Ayyub alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Dawood alayhi salam was sent to one nation, Yahya alayhi salam was sent to one nation, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi salam surpassed a lot of them. And he was sent to the whole of mankind. This is the messenger sallallahu alayhi that the whole world should be following. This is the messenger sallallahu alayhi that the Muslims of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Then why is it the name of Tupac will come to mind and not the name of mess the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa Why is it that the name of Buster Rhyme or Jay-Z will come to mind and not the name of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Why is it that the name of some boxer or some UFC fighter will come to mind and not the name of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa why is it that the name of Beyonce or Lady Gaga will come to mind and not the name of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Why is it that the name of Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho will come to mind and not the name of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa The best of examples that ever stepped on the face of this earth was none other than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why is it that the Muslims are ashamed to act upon the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century Ashamed to act upon the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If they are ashamed to grow dreadlocks under the armpits and between their thighs, then why are you ashamed to keep the beard? If they are ashamed to walk half naked on the streets, then why are you ashamed to wear the hijab or the niqab properly? If they are ashamed to commit sin in public, then why are you ashamed to pray Salah on the streets? If they are ashamed to jump in the pool naked, then why are you ashamed to do wudu in the toilet sinks? This is who you are. You are the followers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And do not, do not underestimate Allah's power. Why? Because Allah indeed has tested people before you. Allah has tested the people of the 21st century in foreign countries. People are killed. People are raped. Muslim women are forced to have intercourse with their own sons. Fathers are forced to have intercourse with their own daughters. Their skin have been peeled from their bodies. Don't make Allah test you people in this way. You've got Islam on your plate. You could practice Islam. Hold firm upon the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Obey Allah and obey His Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is who you are. So what? If we eat with our hands, this is who we are. So what? If we sit down and urinate, this is who we are. So what? If we grow the beards, this is who we are. So why if the Muslim women wear the hijab or the niqab, this is who they are. So why if the Muslim viewers use a stick to brush their teeth, this is who we are. We are Muslims and we are the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And never forget this. Never forget this. I began by saying that if your forefathers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your housing, your dwellings, your merchandise is your business. If anything becomes more beloved to you than Allah and His Messenger, I end by saying that if your forefathers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your children, your houses, your dwellings, your merchandise is your business, businesses, if anything becomes more beloved to you than Allah and His Messenger, then wait for the punishment of Allah to descend.